Hello. <laughs> Welcome to BagelCast. Yeah, I don't like starting it. I'm uh, James. I'm Mike. And I'm Jack. I'm James. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is episode five. That's my favorite number. This, yeah? Yeah, this is five. Okay. Ah, I took a two-episode hiatus, but I'm back. We're back. We have um, the original crew here, I think, actually. Yeah, it's the original crew. Yep. Nice. We're bagel-less, unfortunately, but that's okay. Yeah. I went and got a Dr. Coke, a Dr. Pepper. For Dr. Coke. Yeah, Dr. Coke. <laughs> Uh, I went and got a Dr. Pepper for Katie, and then I dropped it the second I got out of the car. Oh, <laughs> the no. door was too hard to open. Please tell me you didn't tell her, and then you just let her open it. No, I told her. I <laughs> should have just let her get it sprayed. That Sorry. might be one of the most like personally devastating things that can happen to someone so on a day-to-day mad. basis. I was picking up breakfast one morning before going to work, and I had like the guy, this, this deli I go to, the guy usually is pretty good. Paper bag, coffee's in the bag, bagels on top of it, napkins on top of that. I'm walking out, and the bottom rips out of the bag. Um, Both coffees spill on the side of my car. Oof. I salvaged the bagels. Oh, nice! All wasn't lost. <laughs> that is the worst. But it was like I. It was. It was though someone had told me it's like my, something happened in my family. The moment that they, they ripped them, like <laughs> something bad had happened. Like oh, so and so is in the hospital. That Nothing was the, can. That was this. the feeling I had. It was so bad. <laughs> Disaster. It was actually when we were lifeguards at the pool. A girl had us with an apple bottle on top of the lifeguard stand. She Snapple. dropped it off and it shattered and like glass went in the pool. <laughs> and it just so happened it was like the one day of the summer. The guy that was like the town like uh, representative for like public whatever came by and saw it was there when it happened. He's like, "Well, you better be firing that person." And the <laughs> they had to fire. Well, it's like, not their fault. Spot. I mean, they just dropped something. Well, I mean, had it up there, though. Yeah. if you're gonna have. Like the the problem was it's glass, right? Yeah. And then it breaks into a pool, which is you know if you think about it, glass Clear. colored. So uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they either were supposed to drain the pool and clean the glass out, or said they were going to drain the pool and clean yeah. the glass what out. Is, what are you going to do? Step on it? You're in the water. Yeah, you, I mean, yeah. Uh, if it shatters like, in there, it definitely. No, I mean, like if it's deep water, you, you don't step in it. You Not that like, yeah, it was. You know what it was though? It was in a three foot section, so okay. it was only. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and I think to make matters worse, it hit the side of the pool first, so it shattered. Uh, and then when that's why I meant. That's why yeah. it was bad. It shattered into pieces. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's a um, bunch of shards of glass. <laughs> I think plastic snapple bottles might taste better than the glass ones. I think you're right. They definitely have more flavor, but I feel cheated when I don't get a snapple fact. Oh, all right. And they don't have the snapple. <laughs> I'm facts. collecting the first 100. I'm still doing that. That would be really cool. Is there number one? Is what? there a number one? Even? Uh, I think so. <clears throat> it's the lowest number you have. I think I got like two, actually. Really? Like two and three and wow. five, I think. I want to say the lowest I ever got was like 57 or something like that. I always yeah. get a. I think, I think different numbers pertain to different flavors because yeah. I always get diet peach snapple yeah. because I feel like that's just the best. And I always get the same ones. Lemon hmm. snapple is the best. Yeah, lemon snapple is the best. Guys. Uh, Fuck you. Sometimes the regular ones are like. You get the too. hell out of I know. It was a, it's a bad take, I suppose, but. They definitely have. You know what would be cool though with like the first one hundred. Yeah. If you take like I I've, I've seen people build tables. You see like have you ever seen the bottle cap table? Yeah, bottle, makes? yeah. So you would take one of those right. You get the table. Mm-hmm. You flip the Snapple facts upside down, mm-hmm. all one hundred, yeah. and then you pour mm-hmm. in like the plastic resin. Clear stuff. Yeah. Right. So then you have like one through hundred sitting up on like a coffee table, and people are like, oh, that's interesting. Look at that, hundred Snapple facts. That is cool. Yeah. I was thinking that or like a poster type thing, like a mounted board on that the wall. That would be cool. <clears throat> yeah. I actually got a really nice cold chocolate milk recently for the first time in a while, and that oh. was amazing. I don't think I've ever had, like, actually, like, purposely had chocolate milk. Really? Like, a more than a glass. Because I, I like normal milk. It's fine. Hmm. And actually, I don't usually like chocolate. Like, I can only have, like, Kit Kats and Hershey bars hmm. and Hershey Kisses. Any other chocolate I do not like, including chocolate ice cream. Hmm. Which apparently... It tastes so like, different, though. I like vanilla ice cream more than chocolate ice cream. Vanilla ice cream is my favorite. I think I prefer oh, chocolate. Sure. I haven't had ice cream in a while, though. Um, but you don't like Reese's peanut butter cups? I don't like peanut butter. Aren't you allergic to peanuts? No, I think I told people that when I was a kid. Oh yeah, so I didn't have to smell it. <laughs> <That's hysterical. laughs> um, it's yeah, you know, that way. you know what's weird though with chocolate milk? Like I remember really, really, really liking YooHoo when I was a little kid, and then I had YooHoo again. And I was like, I don't know about this. This doesn't. No, seem I think it's taste last bottle of YooHoo's were good. Nesquik. Yeah, that's true. I think I, feel, I did have a what's the other brand Nesquik? Yeah, I mm-hmm. had one of those. That was actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Looking back on it, the powdered uh, chocolate milk was kind of a weird thing. I mean, like the, there were there are actually so many things like we had to we had to clean out our freezer and our pantry one time in our house, and there were so many things we found in there from like this was not I mean this is not like you know recently but this is like a few years ago, 
there are so many things we found in there. They're like, holy shit, people would eat this stuff. Like, I swear to God, we found a thing in our freezer probably a long time ago mm-hmm. where it was. Uh, you know how orange juice always says not from concentrated? Yeah. Okay, do you know what that means? Isn't it like they freeze it? Yes. Yeah. So what they would do is they would basically take like this pulp or like this like condensed shit. Uh-huh. They'd freeze it and they put it in a can, right? Mm. You take that can and put that sucker in your freezer. You leave it there for like three until or four years until mm-hmm. the apocalypse most likely. But that was how people had orange juice. Like they would take that. That's I think weird. they would like dump it in like a little like jar or something and they'd put like water over it. It's supposed to make like a gallon. Here you go. Juice. Yeah, it was like a gallon. It was like, but it was like basically like I don't even know if it was real juice. It was like orange, like almost like syrup or pulpy kind of stuff. Right. But that was like that was orange juice back in the day. Like that was orange juice. No. And then they had every fucking drink was just powdered. You powder right. you two, two scoops. Yeah. Scoop it up. That Tang was what it was. And Tang and yes. such. Yeah. They um. There's an ongoing struggle in my life, which is that I don't like soda. Like I can drink Sprite, but I really don't like it. And if I'm having something spicy, I definitely can't have that because mm. it's just no good. Milk is perfect for like buffalo wings, honestly. It is. But anyway, it, it, an ongoing fight in my life is that any time I go to a restaurant and I order milk, they always go milk. I'm like yes. <laughs> so like, and and, and, and like the, it's reached a point where like I tell my family and I go out to dinner with them and they like wait to see if they're gonna say it and then they look well, at me. It's funny actually because we all three of us had gotten a buffalo wild wings uh, together I guess a couple years ago mm-hmm. and we're in there and I, you know what you said about. You know, with wings, it makes sense because if you like spicy stuff, uh-huh. the milk is really the only thing that will cool off the spiciness, right? Pretty much, yeah. So we went in there, and uh, dip it in, Mike's man. like, "Oh, I'll take like a coke. I'll, I'm having a beer." James goes to the waitress. He goes, uh, "I'll take a milk." And you, by her reaction, you would have thought that James had said, "I'll take a chalice of goat's blood, please," <laughs> because this woman was so taken aback. She's like, she had never she's like milk. Here? <laughs> That's my what? struggle. People we, only, <laughs> we only talk about it in hushed tones. It's not near in public. All they had was like the little half cartons of milk for like coffee. For fucking like kids. Yeah, shit. exactly. That's but what I it was, it, it, You just threw this person so far off their game. It was so funny. <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, when, when, when uh, we went to Bermuda, it was the same thing over there. Um, and I don't know what it was, but I had several interactions with waiters. We learned that like all the waiters and waitresses in Bermuda are like savages. So, like, I order milk, That's right, grunty. and the, one, uh, <laughs> the waiter is like, oh, you want some cookies as well? This <laughs> guy's <laughs> just like, yeah, yeah, what did I do to deserve yeah. this? Same yeah. customer. Yeah. So you got him, pal. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? You ever try a goat's milk? No. Okay, so I had a Ooh. friend who, uh, when he used to sleep over his house, yeah. his mom was like a health nut. Mm-hmm. So she one time was making us breakfast and did not tell us that she was giving us goat's milk. So I'm drinking this milk, I'm like, this tastes kind of weird. Like, you know, not bad, but like weird. And she's like, oh, do you guys like that? I'm like, yeah, it's fine. She goes, oh, that was goat's milk. It's like, mm. if you're going to give me something and make me think it's something else and then tell me afterwards yeah. that it's another thing, done. That's like my mom tried to give me almond milk like that. I was like, there's something wrong with this. Yeah, don't, like, don't, just, just. You know, you know what's the worst is like, uh, I was in like, I, uh, I was in like dim lighting one time, like just sitting on the couch, like watching TV, I think. And like. I don't. I don't even remember if it was me who drank it or not. But like, I so, somehow somebody wound up drinking apple juice. Mm. Who, who thought it was water because they're both clear and in the light they look the same. Yeah. I think it was me. Yeah. And if I remember, it was like the most horrific thing ever because like oh, you yeah. expect water oh, with yeah. no flavor and then oh, yeah, apple no, you're to your yeah, tongue. Not no, good. Holy shit. <laughs> not good. I had someone do this to me with a bison burger one time too, or it was kind of like, ah, it wasn't bad, but you know, just tell me it's bison, please. Yeah. How about? We just had uh, in uh, Germany. We went to this like shitty little like food place in our neighborhood, um, and we got. I was like, "Oh, I'll have." Uh, it said crispy burgers, right? So I was like, "Okay, I'll have the thing." It's like two crispy burgers and fries, and my friend got it too. And we get we get it. I'm like, "What the fuck is this? This does not look like meat at all." It's like kind of like got like an orange tinge and like weird. doesn't it's look like meat. So I was like, "All right, I'm gonna bite into this." And then like I bite it. I'm like, "Oh my god, what is? Oh, it's chick. This is a chicken patty. This is." <laughs> Apparently, a crispy burger is just their way of saying a chicken burger. Well, you know, chicken that's, patty burger. <laughs> that's what happens when the, in your civilization is delayed by like 60 years by Nazis <laughs> and World War. That right. uh, your people don't, you know, have enough sense to refer to, you know, burger means some sort of red meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not, you know, chicken is You have to patty. say chicken burger. Yeah. Yeah, so exactly. a crispy burger, and I was like, first, it didn't look like a burger, then when I bit into it and saw chicken, I just assumed it was something else, like, horrible, because I didn't think it chicken at all when I thought crispy burger. You know what I learned about Germany? I don't know, you guys were there, right? I didn't go. You didn't way. go. Okay, so apparently they have, like, some sort of species of flightless bird 
in Germany that's like like four feet tall or something like like hmm. uh, like emus, like huh. except a little smaller. But they run around in like the fields. I'm like, this is in Germany. Interesting. I expect that like Australia like the or something. Like, yeah, yeah, in Australia. Africa of sorts. It's like so weird. Huh. Usually birds like that are usually really mean too. Yeah, like probably. they really like those birds generally aren't nice to begin with. <laughs> um, but the birds that are like you know walking around that are like about yeah. your height, those are usually the meanest. This one's at like the perfect height to punch. Mike just like, <laughs> punch your motion with his hand. <laughs> geese, man. Uh, geese too. Or, like geese are geese are vicious. I think our grandpa one time a goose was trying to attack Michael when he was like three, and then our grandpa just like haymaker just socked it. Absolutely, like, <laughs> like just slung this goose like, back, into the, like, back into the middle of the lake. <laughs> yeah, birds uh, are probably the worst demographic of animal. Birds. Uh, we got a friend actually that don't really a bird. He owned like a parrot. Yeah. And uh, we kind of like, why'd you guys get this? An animal. And they said, oh, well, you ever see the movie Dumb and Dumber? They have a bird in that named Petey, and the bird mm. dies, and like the, you know, they sell it to a blind kid because this, the blind kid apparently didn't know it was dead. They just duct taped its head back on. Yeah, it. so they they it's got this good. bird. And they named it Petey because like you guys got a bird because of a joke in a movie, and they're like, eh, more or less. <laughs> but this thing would literally it would just sit there and like screech. And then like, do yeah, you want, yeah. they go, do you want to see Petey's trick? So they would turn on the ceiling fan and then let the bird go. And the bird somehow would, would fly, fly through. through the ceiling fan. Oh, that's cool. Without, uns- getting hit. without getting hit, unscathed, and land on top and just like be sitting on top of the ceiling fan, just chilling. That's cool. And every single, like, I was convinced every time he did <laughs> that it was just going to get like absolutely <laughs> splattered against their wall. But How every single was time. It? It was small. It was like it's not okay. like not big. Like, yeah, it's still you know, impressive like, though. Like, like yeah, they like, must not, like see time slower or something. It was incredible. I, every time I saw it, I was impressed because there was no way in my mind that this thing should be able to do that. But it just every and the, again, you know, I was seeing fan. It's like a blur. That's mm-hmm. how fast it's going. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, people that own birds, something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they do kind of just <clears throat> reach the whole day. Yeah. yeah. Someone I know that happened, they're like, yeah, you had to put, like, a blanket over the cage all day, because if you took off the blanket, it would just start, like, screeching and like, flying. And That's what you do if you want to, like, catch a crocodile. You, like, put that over their head, and they think that they're, like, dead, so they just stop struggling. Oh, yeah. not, that's actually really good to know. Yeah, that's from the crocodile hunters. Yeah. Huh. In case I, I need to know that. R.I.P. Yeah, miss that guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, the topic of, uh, pet names has gotten me thinking. I've been thinking lately about do- different dog names. Mm. I've come up with a few ones I like. For a little brown dog, Loaf. Loaf. I like that. It's a good one. Um, I should just list. I've, I've been writing them down. I should just read them all. Yeah, shoot. Okay. It's gonna be suck to pull it up. Do you think human names for animals is? Uh, I don't like that. Like just naming a cat Paul or something. Like I that. always. That's weird. I always think that's funny. I always think that's it's funny. funny. Yeah. Okay, so my my best name, first one I came up with, is Waffle. Oh, that's good. Little blonde doggy. Mm. That's good. good. I like that. Uh, now this is where it gets a little weird. Uh, grub slash grubbo. Grubbo. <laughs> or like, uh, a, what, like a wiener dog. Yeah. yeah. Gremlin. Gremlin. Creature. Uh, scubba. Poo poo. And Flop'em. Flop'em. I like Flop'em. It would be hard to discipline a dog named Waffle. It would, yeah. You really couldn't just be there like, God damn it, Waffle. I could <laughs> see somebody. Stop, yeah. stop shitting all over the place. Some people, ass in the copy, Diane. Some people <laughs> have like those little dogs that are like... Like Mudge, that are basically like you don't need to train them because they're rabbits. They're not dogs. Yeah, so they just like do whatever, and they they can't hurt anything. That dog is so damn small. Yeah. I'm like afraid to go near it. It's a mini poodle. When, when they first yeah. hat, it's a mini toy poodle, which is even like <laughs> so. Smaller. It's like some scientist somewhere is just like this dog's not small enough. We have to make this dog smaller, more of like you know more vulnerable. I, mean, I, I think that uh, dog, Matt. This is dog. We know that is yeah. a it's a combination of two combination dogs. So it's like. Do you take a puggle and like a pugapoo and then make those two a thing and that's a double poo, which is really just mutt, really? Double, double poo. Not and the double thing poo. has like double these doodle, yeah, de- that's double called. doodle, that's what mm. it's called. Yeah, cockadoodle and a spockadoodle or whatever. Uh, Spock? Yeah. I don't know what, what the dog's names are, but this thing has just like these dead uh, demon eyes. It just looks cross eyed and fucked yeah, up. It's got weird colored eyes. They're like greenish or like blue or gray or something. Like, I don't know. It just attacks the shit out of people. Mm. That dog is. Uh... They were, I, I trained that dog for a while when I trained I, I babysat that dog and I tried to train it when it was still like a puppy that thing was vicious when it was like not even a foot long yeah, yeah. I went over there one night and I saw that dog if you told me that dog had rabies I would believe you yeah. it went berserk it was just like it. every move it made it was like, wasn't like a deliberate move it was just like it was just like you know that Tasmanian devil just doesn't stop moving it was kind of like that his teeth were so sharp it was like crazy how yeah. sharp his teeth were 
Like my dog, I can stick my hand right in his mouth. I frequently do, actually. When, whenever he yawns, I stick my hand right in his mouth. <laughs> Not like down his throat, but just like in the, like sideways in there. Yeah. And then he just like will bite down. And he's like, well, it doesn't bite down. He's like his teeth like touch it and immediately. He's like, oh, that's not. That shouldn't be there. Yeah, yeah. We had a beagle in college. His teeth are not sharp at all. It like, you know, you do the same thing. You put your hand right in its in like in its yeah. mouth, and like I think it only tried to like bite someone one time. Mm-hmm. And even then, it's not like biting; it's like nipping at you. Is that like a puppy thing? Uh, puppies just sort of do that, like teeth. Yeah, I guess so. He was like, yeah, he was a little older than a puppy, but yeah. like, he would only do that if someone was like, you know, someone he didn't know was like coming at him or something like that. Yeah. Which, you know, that's kind of your fault if you don't know what the hell you're doing around a dog. I'm so good with dogs, actually. Yeah. I'm really good with dogs. Yeah. Mm. I want a hedgehog more than anything. <laughs> they are awesome. I was listening to Sonic the Hedgehog soundtrack in my car. Ooh. I'm like, they're, 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 surely there's a joke How to be made here. How many songs are on that? Oh, I was just listening to one song. It's like by Jared Reddick, the lead singer of Bowling for Soup. He did like a song for the... Like Sonic Unleashed, I think. It's just a good song. I like it. I saw this funny clip. It was like a football clip of some guy just getting hit like unbelievably hard and getting knocked down. And somebody come in and was like, I just assumed that some Sonic rings were going to come flying out of him. <laughs> That's like, hysterical. Yeah, that would actually be a really, really <laughs> funny way. You know how people like edit videos, make memes yeah. out of videos and stuff yeah. now? That would be a really... I don't that think I've be seen that before. Thing, that wrong. would be hysterical. You know how they do the thing with Grand Theft Auto where like someone gets hit and then it's just wasted yeah. in slow motion as they zoom yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. The Sonic Rings thing would be so funny. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. Maybe you can start start taking clips of people getting hit really hard and editing in Sonic Rings. Yeah, what you need is like... Or... What you need is like... Um, like this animation involved there. You need to have like either something that you can drag on via like green screen, like just the rings with like a green screen background... Or you need to like hand animate that, and that's beyond my skill set. Yeah, those things I always like take for granted. Like when you're just you know wake up in the morning, you're like looking through Twitter or something like that, and you see like a funny gif like that. Yeah, yeah I guess you really take for granted how much work goes into one of those. It's got to be real. Yeah, they're animated, right? yeah. That's true. The people that like do like the Michael Jor- crying Jordan stuff, it's like this was probably wasn't that easy to put on there, and you did it oh, yeah, unbelievably fast. Yeah. It was one of like had people doing crying Jordan Jordan faces on uh, like historical moments. Ah, uh, that's funny. And there was somebody, it was like the potato famine. It was just like the entire country of Ireland was like a crying <laughs> Jordan face. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> so uh, do we want to leave in a bit about <laughs> the dog? Yeah, my mom. We can edit it that. I could edit out the name. Yeah. Or just <laughs> we can protect out. protect the dog's identity. Yeah. Mm. Or just bleep it out. <laughs> okay, you know I'll leave all of it in. Just bleep out the name, yeah, and hopefully no one knows. Exactly, they'll know. They'll know if exactly. it's our family members watching, hypothetically speaking. <laughs> yeah. So, what else do you guys want to talk about today? We had animal fights as well. The mm-hmm. Animal Fights TV show. We could probably talk about. Sure. Yeah. Good. That was mm-hmm. that. What channel was that on? I thought it was Animal Planner, maybe Discovery Channel. Okay. Discovery I, Channel, maybe. Yeah. I remember I, watching. It. Yeah, I remember watching that too, and then I remember like. The first one they had was like, oh, wow, this is going to be really cool. I forget what it was. But then they had like a few where it's like, it just didn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Where, you ever watch uh, Deadliest so. Warrior? Is that, was that what it was called? Uh, yeah, Spike? yeah. Okay. And it was like Maybe. Pirate so, versus and then there were, uh, sh- Samurai. Right, 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 right. So there were ones where it was like, okay, you know, this is going to be cool. It's going to be like this guy versus this guy. Yeah. They're both equally, you know, from the same time period. They have mm-hmm. equal weapons. But then every now and then they have one where it's like, pirate. they had one that was like Pirate versus, I think it was a Knight or a Samurai. I was like, oh, the knight did really good, but then the pirate just shot him. That's this BS. So there was, there was, um, there were definitely episodes of animal, whatever the hell it was called, yeah. animal fights or what? Mm-hmm. What was it called? I don't know. There's uh, one here, animal face off. Animal oh, face off. Giant was squid versus sperm whale, tiger mm-hmm. bear, rhino elephant. Okay, wasn't there one with a walrus? And it was like a walrus versus something. Polar bear, probably. And yeah. the whole time it was like, you know, oh, we're going, we're going to go see how this walrus and it has like these tusks and it has crushing power. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the thing can't move at all, really. And got, immediately got mauled to death. So I thought the walrus. No, I thought the walrus one because the polar once it got yeah, right into, into the, the water, water, the walrus had the you know the in the polar was trying yeah. to climb out of the water, and then he just like stabbed him in the back. With, with oh well, if that's the case, then that's bullshit. That is BS. No walrus would ever do that. Because why would rhino it... versus croc? The one I remember was uh, rhino versus croc. Wait, that's what. Jeez. That was one. Okay. They, I remember one that was um, tiger versus down. lion. But what they did was they they made it an equal fight. So uh, what they did was they scaled the tiger down to be lion sized, which kind of negates is, it. A tiger is bigger than a lion. Yeah, much bigger. Really? Yeah, they're huge. Oh wow! I think that, really. Yeah, they're really big. The um, Bengal tigers, yeah. Anaconda. Uh, yeah, anyway, so the lion won, but it's basically like that's like scaling down a T Rex to Velociraptor size and having to fight a Velociraptor. Well, that, yeah, that's dumb. It. Just have him fight. Yeah, here. Obviously, the one that was smaller is gonna win. Yeah. 
Because now it's got a, it's like a huge one. Yeah. A, t- a tiger would destroy a lion in a real fight. I, yeah, you, just make it real. Just make it an, like an equal fight then. Just find another thing that would be able to fight the stupid thing. But you were just saying rhino versus crocodile? Yeah. Maybe they did the scale know. thing, but yeah, that's kind of a... Uh, like, uh, the crocodiles, they only kill pretty much by drowning. Like, they don't really bleed anything you know, to death. Like, if you can't drown... rhino hide with their teeth? I mean, like, could they not just, like, well, they, it's stomp, not really about... stomp, walk away? <laughs> yeah. It's not like, like with crocodiles. It's not even about. This is my crocodile hunter knowledge coming back again. I knew I'd need this someday. <laughs> uh, what they do is they, you know, they drag their prey down into the water. So it's something that they can't to drown it. So if they can't drag whatever it is, something enormous like a rhino, there's no chance they can drag it underwater. So unless it's maybe already there and it, like bit its foot and dragged it down in like deep water, which is highly unlikely. Um, yeah, that's no way. I lost a lot of respect for crocodiles after the show Swamp People gained notoriety. Those those guys were just absolutely going out there and making crocodiles look silly. Were they? They were just, they'd literally go out there, they would sneak up on one, shoot it right in the back of the head, yank it on the boat, and then just keep going on their merry way, and never have a problem with it. Sometimes they'd even just grab it by the head and then shoot the thing, and then like, sling it on the boat. Well, sometimes hey, we killed like nine of these today, let's go home. They didn't quite get it though, and they would come back to life in the boat, and they'd be like, oh, shoot him, 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 shoot there's one here that would be interesting. It was a uh, anaconda jaguar. Again, like... Hmm. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, the just... anaconda one. That... How? It's just strangled the thing. But, like, why... Yeah, I think they... it was bigger, though, if I remember. I mean, they are bigger. I'm sure the anaconda is much bigger, but it's like, if I'm a jaguar, I think what my game plan would be like, okay, I'm going to go find the end of this thing. Let me just go tee off on the end of the thing. Like, oh, hey, you're bleeding, pal. You know, by the time he gets back there, I'm going to go, like, tee off in the middle of him. I don't know. Mm. I don't know about that one. I Anacondas. Know. I feel like snakes don't feel pain much. I don't think they, they don't need the end of their tail. Mm. They don't have any organs back there. And what they like, what anacondas, they're so like huge and muscular, they'll just like hide their head within their coils. So you can't even like, they're like impenetrable. They're just like a mass. I don't know. I feel like if you. I feel like the anaconda actually would win that mm. one. I mean, I see like anacondas, like big snakes, you see like eating deer all the time. But deer are stupid. Deer are like, stupid. Uh, like a jaguar should be able to just be like, okay, let me like zip in, slash, zip out. Yeah, it, I don't know how it got a hold of it, but that like one, you can't let it get a hold of you, and I don't feel like a, a tiger type right. thing would. What was the first season? Does it, do you have the list of the first season there? Let's see. And do you also have who won? Uh, I can find it. I like this gorilla leopard. I feel like gorilla would always win. Oh, I remember that one. Do you remember how that one ended? No. The gorilla, like the the jaguar's like jumping at the gorilla, and somehow the gorilla like gets to the side of it, and he just karate chops it down on the thing's back. And like collapses breaks his back. Yeah, it like collapses inward. I don't yeah. think there are, I don't think I don't think there are a lot of animal fights where I wouldn't take the gorilla. I think the gorilla is usually a pretty f- safe bet. How about this? I'll give you the winning, yeah. what the versus what you know what the fight was and you tell me who you thought the winner was. Deal. Okay. Saltwater crocodile versus great white shark. Uh, shark. Location, northern Australian coast. I say shark. The shark has the advantage there. Yeah. Both right. right okay. Right, nice. Right. One for one. Um, all right. I remember that. It, like, bit off one of the fins. African bush elephant versus southern white rhinoceros. Um, I'd go with the rhino. I... Because that's a bigger weapon. You know what? I feel like upwards. this is one of these bullshit ones where they're going to try to make it, like... Oh, they probably be the same think, size. You think the rhino would win, but the elephant's going to win, so I'm going to go with the elephant. elephant rhino? It is elephant. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that, actually, but... but it says that, uh... Um, thought it would be that. The white rhino then tries an agile headbutt, but the elephant proves better with his seven-foot tusk. The elephant undulate, then turns the rhino around and stabs it twice with its tusks, breaking one in the process that gets stuck in the rhino. The elephant then topples his rival and crushes him under his weight. The elephant steps off and trumpets in victory. Uh-huh. Asiatic lion versus Bengal tiger. Yeah, that's when the lion won. Lion did win. That's what I remember. Hippo versus bull shark. Zambezi River. Okay, now wait a minute. They both spend some there are water. there are sharks in the rivers. Uh, oh, no, bull sharks. Yeah, they go fresh water. They go fresh water. Yeah, they don't have to be specifically. Are, yeah, hmm. they're like the only ones. They can survive in salt water and fresh water. And they're crazy aggressive. I mean, but I've got to no, go with the hippo. Hippos are hard to So kill. now, normally I would go with the hippo, but I feel like it's almost kind of a thing where, like, yeah, the hippo is on you know on his home turf huge. in the water, but I don't think he's got an advantage over the shark. Can the shark just like zip in and like? Bite him. I think it depends on the depth of the water. So I'm gonna go with the shark. Yeah, hippo. Well. Uh, yeah, so I, because I bet the hippo could it, crush it in his jaws. It's like it tried to bite him, but it was so fat that like it <laughs> couldn't even like its mouth is so small compared to the thickness of the hide of the hippo. Right. 
Interesting. Um, Bull sharks aren't that big. Mm-hmm. This is a tough one. It's off the names. Gray wolf versus cougar. Rocky Mountains. Uh, I'm going to go wolves. Yeah. Cougar. Was it one wolf? Oh. No, it was one wolf. Oh, okay. Cougar won that. Cougar won that. Okay. Um, let's see. The cougar prepares to eat, but then she hears the wolf pack approaching. Left with no choice, the beast leaves. Why is that the beginning part important? You know what's crazy to you? Someone spent time writing this all up. <laughs> walrus versus polar bear. I think we just talked uh, about this walrus one. I guarantee you, no walrus has ever done that. If you watch the, yeah. this video, it's absurd. It went into the water, and so at the end, the bear, wounded and running out of air, heads straight back to the surface, but the walrus returned with a vengeance. It soon sinks its tusks onto the carnivore's back, killing it. The dead bear sinks into the ocean. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this, is some, this is some Hollywood bullshit here. Yeah. Brown bear versus Siberian tiger. Mm, bear. Huh. Wait, I can't remember which is... I think the, uh, there's the three bears in America, right? And then two of them are kind of chill, and then one of them is like out of its mind crazy. I know grizzly bears are seem like but they're not highest big, kill rate. But they're not big. Is the brown bear or black bear? The brown bear is the big The black bear is a small one. The black bear is a small one, then it's the brown bear. That's, bear. that's crazy. So I'm going to go with the brown bear. I don't know, actually. Yeah, go. Brown bear. Huh. Yeah. yeah. USA. Probably has a size advantage. Yeah. All right. How's the sun bear? And, uh, sun bear? Yeah. It's got like a little like white belly with like a, it looks like a sun. Is that like Asia or something? Probably hmm. some kind of Asian country. Yeah. African lion versus Noel crocodile. Um, yeah, I think about you know. Um, the thing is, I just don't see how the lion. You get into the water, you're done. I don't see how the lion kills it because isn't the crocodile pretty like well armored? It is pretty well armored. Although jaguars hunt caimans, they'll bite them on the back of the neck. They'll sleep, sneak up on them, just like the swamp people. But like, do. if the crocodile just gets one of the lion's legs, the lion is pretty screwed. I bet it's going to be something like it bites the lion's leg and then the lion gets away and then it kills the crocodile. I, That's what my money is on. I'm going crocodile. But it's irrational, but I'll go with that. You're going know, with the lion? Yeah. Crocodile. Yes. Got it into the water, grabbed it by its neck, and dr- death rolled. Nice. A mountain of a battle gorilla. Bomb. Death roll. Mountain goat? Gorilla. <laughs> mountain gorilla versus African <laughs> leopard. We used to talk about no, that. Okay, karate chop. Does it say karate yeah. chop at the end? Let's uh, see. Let's see. That'd actually be really funny if they had just like stupid yep. like not animal fights, but, like aggressive animals, if they had like. Billy goat versus like ten chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Leopard leaps towards gorilla, but he throws his powerful arm on her back, breaking her spine and killing her, thus nice. ending the battle. Literally a karate chop. I'm pretty sure gorillas aren't known for doing that. No, <laughs> uh, gorillas are not learned in the martial arts. <laughs> R.A.P. Harambe. Yeah, pour one out. American alligator versus American black bear. I remember this one. Uh, I don't now, remember watching it, I though. I feel like they're trying to mislead. How often do bears fight alligators in America, huh? I don't think a, an alligator can drag a bear. I think they're too big. I'm going with bear. How about the bear? Bear. Bear, all right. Yep. But reptiles are better than mammals. So that's just a fact. This is another mm-hmm. kind of aggressive ending here. Um, nice. The alligator tries to retreat, but the enraged Vincent lunges at him. What? Gumbo then tries to roll free of the bear's grab. They have names. They, name this, they, they name, added names. They named the this, bear Vincent. It's the Their characters bear. and backstories. But this gives the black bear the advantage to roll him, which exposes the alligator's soft underbelly, which the bear slashes fatally into and kills the gator. Vincent leaves as the gator's that. dead body so, rots in the riverbank. Oh, God, wow. <laughs> this guy who wrote this up is, like, really, really... <laughs> Kind of a lunatic. A little bit. But they gave the guy, they gave the bear the name Vincent, huh? Yeah. Interesting. All right, last one. Okay. Sperm whale versus colossal squid. Sperm whale versus colossal squid. Um, okay, squid. now I th- Sperm whale. think All I might have seen this one. I think they made a really big deal about the squid having a beak or something. But I'm also going to go with the whale. I don't know how the whale is going to kill the squid. I just feel like I'm going with I'll, I'll read you. It's a short recap, so okay. I'll read it. A sperm whale is diving into the deep abyss while a colossal squid rockets through the depths. Both combatants sense each other. The squid sees the whale, while the whale's echolocation reveals the squid's location. Upon seeing the whale as a potential predator, the squid releases a burst of ink as a warning, but it's ignored by the whale, which launches a slow attack on the huge squid. Just before it reaches the mouth, the squid latches onto the whale and rakes it with his suckers, wounding it in the process. Mm -hmm. By rising close to the surface, the squid is shaken off, but not before it scratches the whale further. Although wounded, the whale amplifies his sonar and stuns the squid. The paralyzed cephalac is helpless and thus eaten alive. So it killed it with sonar? Can I so do that? It just yelled it to death. <laughs> it's like, hey! like, like you're all over it. Shouted him to pieces. Yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah. All right, so huh. don't... Can do we those. actually do that? Is that I, a thing? According to Animal Planet... Maybe, it's, maybe they're like, like squid cephalopods that are like, uh, especially susceptible to... You know what it probably is? They probably just had some like executives that are like, yeah, you know, just 
come on this other episode and you give these writers like figure out how this is gonna work you nerds and then they're like alright fuck it the, the, the whale just yells it to death alright it's the end of this season we're not getting renewed <laughs> there's actually like rep- on Wikipedia like is like recommended shows that were similar and there's one called Monster Bug Wars oh that one's awesome and it doesn't say the winners of each but it has just a couple of the uh, rounds and there's yeah. Raspy Cricket versus Centipede Argiope Spider versus Porsche Spider Desert Scorpion Wolf Spider Tiger Beetle Raspy Cricket back again I guess the, maybe the highlight is the name is the one that... You know what these are, though? These aren't animated like those ones are. They're actually, like, real footage that people found, like, out in the oh, field. Oh, really? Yikes. And they, they'll actually, like, do, like, a 3D, like, remodeling of it, so it shows exactly, like, how they, like, stab each other because it happens so fast. But they add sound effects to it. It's insane. The top, <laughs> it's like, they're, like, screaming, like, chimpanzees and stuff. I'm not making that the up. Episode number one is titled Death at Midnight. <laughs> they're really... They, they make it really Giant intense. Giant rainforest mantis for spiny leaf. Man, this is going to be so much fun to work for this company. Just, just like... <laughs> Your job is to come up with like produ- like production for these things. Once you get those clothes on, it's game over. That's how they talk. For did that, did that <laughs> like beetle just make a Godzilla sound? It's oh my god, they made a lot of sounds. If you guys had to make, if you guys had to do your own matchup for like, but not like aggressive, cool animals, like just stupid animals. Stupid animals. Yeah, what would be a good, an interesting matchup to watch? Actually, uh, hmm. Hmm. in the game Tekken, they actually had a fighting panda. Mm-hmm. And a fighting bear. His name was Panda. And Bear, yeah. Also Bear. The Bear's oh, name yeah, was yeah. Kuma. Not... Kuma, yeah. Um... Hey, I don't know about this, actually. Hmm. How about... Well, I need to think of something that actually has a potential to kill something, though. Like, a turtle, uh, I don't think, could really kill Apparently kangaroos something. are super dangerous. Yeah, I'll see a kangaroo fight. Let's yeah, kangaroos are super, they are dangerous. super no, dangerous, no, apparently. Apparently they have very, like, big kangaroo claws. Kangaroo versus German they, Shepherd. And they can either, like, they can, like, kill you with the claws, mm. or if they kick you, they just, like, you know, just kill you. Break ya. your ribs. Yeah, they break your ribs and kill you. Yeah. Maybe donkey versus, um... Donkey versus, um... Uh, a ferret. Donkey versus a ferret, huh? That's... Hmm. It seems one sided. Is the ferret scaled up? What yeah, are their some, names? Some like massive what? ferret. Ferret crawls up the donkey's asshole yeah. and just eats its insides and comes out its dead mouth afterwards. Oh, one of those ferrets. Huh? <laughs> like 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 the second mouth from Alien. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My God, that's like fuck. Like it's like a Mortal Kombat oh. ending. Yeah. Good lord. Um, <laughs> I see what like a sloth would do. Sloths have those big claws. They're just like too lazy to do anything. They're really not for combat, but I, I like the idea. How about owl versus two uh, sloths fight oh, to the death? Owls are such jerks. Owl versus uh, penguin, um, like Ooh. a really sharp beaked tropical bird. Hmm. <laughs> just like two birds, just like attacking yeah. each other. Yeah. Pelican versus antelope. <laughs> I watch that. Listen, yeah, man, like, I, yeah, tell me you wouldn't watch. You know, man. <laughs> I, I'm not saying it would be a good fight, but I'd buy that pay per view. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, the there was another that? show, one more of those, that was um, Jurassic Fight Club. Do you know this one? I've never seen that This one was now. Dinosaurs. This show was so badass, actually. So obviously this one was animated as well. Very good production value, actually. This thing was, this, these shows were so goddamn bloody. Oh, they yeah. like rip each other's like arms off and stuff. It was so intense. Those would be great to watch today because I remember the frustrating thing about those shows mm-hmm. was that, number one, they were always an hour long. Always. Right, yeah. And the first like, you probably get if tell me if I'm wrong here, three minutes of fighting something like that for the rest of the show, which is maybe like included. It was never even like the average show if it's an hour long, mm-hmm. maybe it's like ten to like twelve minutes of commercials, and then the rest is the show. Like forty minutes. Usually, yeah. If you get this like show, that. I swear to God, the commercials must have outweighed the show because mm-hmm. on shows like that, it was always per- commercials for personal injury attorneys, right. like catheters for mm-hmm. old people. Mm-hmm. Like calling cards to Jamaican countries and stuff like that, and then it'd be like, when we come back, we'll see if you know the you know the the scientific tests reveal anything, and they would never reveal anything. And then the end, the end was really the best. Yeah. So if you could watch those shows and just fast forward to the end, yeah, pretty much, it'd be phenomenal. But back then, that's how they would get you, because like, yeah. if you watch the first three minutes of a show like that, you are now in for the yeah, next hour. You are. It doesn't work any other way. Yeah. Yeah. It applies to almost yeah, every show on those like Discovery Channel, History Channel shows, like. There used to be a show... What was the show with, like, uh, the Paul Puddle and those guys? What was that called? Orange County Choppers. Okay, Orange County Choppers or something. Or West Coast Customs or something. Mm-hmm. It was about making, like, motorcycles. Yeah. I don't care about motorcycles. I don't care about them at all. But it would tell you in the beginning, like, we're making a bike for the release of Spider-Man 2. And, you know, if you see, will they get it done in time? And you want to know what, James? They always got it done in time. Yeah. Every single time they got it done in time. 
But the rest of the time, it was just this this dude yelling at his dad, <laughs> and then these guys like, oh, I don't know if we're gonna get this done in time. Yeah, I think I remember that. You know, we're actually running out of time here. It's, you know, we really, you know, Paulie here screwed this up pretty bad. And then they always get it done, and you you'd only watch to see the bike. And That's you know what, what the payoff was? Like, oh, that was kind of cool. Okay. Yeah. Not an hour, cool. That's like what every show on Discovery Channel is now. Oh, Discovery Channel is fucking man. dead. It's very frustrating. Yeah, there's a show that was like one of those shows where it's like just the perfect idea to like get you to want to watch the whole thing. It was like mm-hmm. only half an hour or two. But looking back on it, it had to be completely staged. It was called Bully Beatdown. It would be a story of a guy that lives in a neighborhood and has oh, like yeah. a bully, and he like tells how much the bully is ruining his life, <laughs> and then the bully agrees <laughs> to like fight a like a minor like a up and coming like UFC fighter. That show is great. And then you're like, wait, like what grown man has like a bully in his neighborhood like ruining his life? Like, well, nobody was, has just like a bully weird. in their town like holds him up by their ankle and like takes their fucking money. You know? It was it was always like. This is Vince D'Onofrio, and he always gives, you know, Petey here a hard time. Yeah. Like, Petey's 24, and, you know, uh, he gets his lunch money taken. Yeah. And uh, He's just some know, guy in the neighborhood with, like, a wife beater on, like, washing his car. He's like, you freaking nerd. So we've brought in, <laughs> we've brought in like, six-time UFC heavyweight championship, you know, Ken Stapleton. You know, Ken is one of the only people banned from fighting in America for violence. Like, do you want to fight Ken there, Vince? Like, yeah, I'll yeah, fight Ken. I'm, I'm, the tough, fight anybody. I'm, I'm the toughest guy in Tulsa. I'll fight anybody. And then, and like, then, if they won, they got to keep the money. But if they won, they gave it to, like, the kid, people getting bullied or something. And like the that. guy, I think, almost never won because, again, yeah. it's some, like, tough guy fighting yeah. an actual there UFC fighter. There was one fighter. time a UFC fighter didn't win. It was so awkward. Was like, All right, now your whole life is... Still get that suck. This bully's not gonna leave you alone. Yes. Usually it's like, hey guys, I'm <laughs> really sorry sad. I made fun of you. I'll stop bullying you. But now it's like, thanks for the money. I'm gonna keep. I just kicked this kid's ass. Now I got all this more money to add to my bullying fund. Yeah. That he was always a, wanted to watch the bully get his ass kicked. Do you know what another good show was that was actually really worth the wait? There were two. There's one I don't remember the name of. One you'll know. You ever see the show Monster Garage? No. Okay, so there was this dude Jesse James, and I, I honest to God, cannot tell you what this guy was famous for. But, like, it was one of these shows where it's like, you know, oh, hey, this guy is like a celebrity host. Nobody knows why he's a celebrity. But he would host this show, and they'd make these cars. It'd be like, here, we have this old, like, shitbag car. Make it into something crazy. So yeah, that- but today's competition is a 1973 Volkswagen Beetle. And if you can turn it into a fully functioning tugboat that can move a, like, <laughs> really an aircraft was. carrier, like, really you'll win. It was really cool. I'm sure you can find it on YouTube. Cool. The other show, which you probably love, I just remember the name. I'm pretty sure it was called Junkyard Wars. That was that awesome. That really. show was oh, yeah. awesome. Maybe, like, they'd run it around was the junkyard so looking for parts. Good. I, I think I remember that. What did they make? They though? literally dropped you in a dump, right? right? And they're like, okay, you're gonna have. Here's your goal. You have to make something that's gonna like throw Tribution. throw this pumpkin as far as possible. We oh, don't care cool. how you do it. You have these guys who are like mechanical engineers and mm. etc. They all had like yeah. different little things that they were really good at. That's and cool. a junkyard, and they would go and scavenge the junkyard and just find crap. And they built like a fully functioning trebuchet, yeah, or they would build like you to find a that show. Well, they, they, they had another thing where it's like, okay, we're gonna have like a race. You can make any kind of vehicle you want, but you know. And then guys, they built like a like a like a three man sort of uh, like buggy. like doing like. But they did like thing where it was like they had to. It was just such a cool show. You've got to check it out later on. That yeah. show was awesome. And that, the whole thing was good. It wasn't like you're yeah. waiting for some payoff. It was like the whole show was really interesting. And in the end, it was also really good because you're watching like, holy shit, these guys just built something ridiculous. Yeah. Um, Did it ever just fall apart? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. 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 they're building out of like rusty crap. Yeah. Um, but again, like they literally were in a, gar- a junkyard yeah. pulling out just literally junk. And they'd build these really cool, often functioning things that would do these awesome tasks. I wonder what happened to that show because that show was sick. Mm-hmm. That was like back when Discovery Channel was trying to inspire kids to be like, hey, yeah. get into engineering and get into like science and whatnot. Not like, you know. Yeah. There's like. What they do now. You know the, uh, the BattleBot show? Did I tell you this maybe? That, that season three should have been on the star, but ABC didn't bring it back. Instead, they're doing like The Bachelor. Mm. And the, it's their most viewed video on YouTube is BattleBots. It's got like 12 million or something. Yeah. I wonder why. I guess Bachelor is just more. <sighs> it's a lower production value is what it is. So it's lower production value. Right. People really enjoy it, but it's like, mm-hmm. I wish they, I don't know, I wish they found a way to make BattleBots, either they advertise it better, or yeah. find a way to get people engaged in it. Where they, You know how like the NCAA tournament for basketball, it's like, okay, here's the tournament, here's the seeds, mm-hmm. you know, people can do their little brackets or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, if there's a way to like, get people engaged, like you do gambling. a BattleBots league, kind of like gambling, yeah. Um, gambling in quotation marks because that was a fun that was a really fun show I haven't watched the new season but when it was on like back in the day it was really really good you know, I'm making my own battle box 
at all. Yeah. What's 12 the main killing uh, function? It is a horizontal asymmetrical spinner. Mm-hmm. It has 1,000 watts of power. That's cool. Enough to kill you. <laughs> I think. Um, <laughs> it's not done yet. What's it was gonna be fun done? watching those guys oh, really some, like robots that they've worked so hard on just get dismantled in moments. It's gonna be oh, really Robot fun. Wars is a bunch of great clips from the UK of like people like like kids like driving there and gets like destroyed and they're just like smiling. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> destroyed. I guess building is the fun part, right? Uh, it's not really that fun for me. It's hard. It's hard, yeah, I bet it is hard. I remember I, I remember when I was that show first came out when I was in grade school and I was like, Dad, I wanna build one of these. He's like, I don't have to build one of these fucking things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my uncle's helping me build it and he's like Burn himself twice with a solder, and he's like, "Oh, Jesus, yikes. <laughs> yeah, solder is no he's joke." He's a trooper. <laughs> yeah, solder's no joke. Yeah, no. seriously. You know what's actually one of the only shows that I think has had like is worth watching is yeah. Cops. <laughs> I really talk, watched the Never point. But see, here's the thing: like, you nice. watch a show. I like shows like Bar Rescue. That's a good show, but it's another mm-hmm. one of these shows where it's like. I kind of want to see the end product. That's really all that I'm here for. Right. Or like the very beginning. I want to see how fucked up this bar is. Right. I don't really care how you're training Tammy and, you know, putting away bar napkins better. I just want to see how, how cool you make this thing. Cops. Cops is good from beginning to end. When an episode of Cops ends, I'm like, that's it? That's all I get? Yeah. And the whole thing is really good. Well, it's like you get, it's, it's like five minute bursts. It's a cop saying like, I've been working here in Oklahoma for 45 years. And, uh, coming up here, uh, just you know, driving through the neighborhood. Uh, see a guy over here on a motorcycle. Let's see what he's doing. Oh, he's running uh, 10-4. And then the guy will run. He'll crash. Then they'll like chase the dude down. And they, do you have anything in your pockets we need to know about? No, sir. Not at all. All right. This is a meth syringe right here. Oh, that's not mine. That's not mine. Anything else in here you need to know about? Nope. Nothing. Nothing in the other pocket. Nope. This is a gun in the other pocket right here. A loaded gun. This is yours. Whoa! What the heck? No, I was just holding that they, for someone. They, we, they're literally, they're literally guys who say these aren't my pants. <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I, they're not falling for that. It's not mine. Anyway. I was the just, whole pants I was, at, I was at a party and uh, I just put these pants on and left. He goes, and you didn't notice that there was a gun and a crack pipe in there? No, sir. Not mine. Not my pants. Not my problem. <laughs> There was another one, too, where I think Mike and I were watching, and they, some dude calls the cops, right? He says, like, mm-hmm. oh, my car's been vandalized, da, da, da. So the cops show up to see what's going on, and this dude is, like, out of his mind, like, hopped up on, like, crack or cocaine or something. Mm-hmm. So they're like, uh, you mind if we take a look around the car? And the guy's like, sure, sure, car's been vandalized. Look around the car. Yeah, look around the car you want. <laughs> so they look inside there, and there's, like, right in the car, right on cue, is a ton of drugs. Mm-hmm. And he's like, um... Uh, I cancel the cops. I cancel the call. I called them. I cancel the call. They're like, that's <laughs> that's not at no, all. I called you. You're not. If I tell you, you had to go. Yeah. That's they're like that's not how this works. Uh, so they take the guy's like pulse. They make sure he's okay. They put him in handcuffs. Mm-hmm. And they're like, okay, listen, you know, we had to take you down to the jail tonight, and uh, you know, for the possession of drugs. He goes, you take me to jail tonight? He's like, yes. He goes, well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Cool. All right, not bad. Not a bad polite, performance. Oh, it's such a good show. I, I can't say that I've ever seen a bad episode of Cops. Yeah. There was one I was watching too last week where some lady called. There was a snake outside of her house. She said, "Yeah." And they called the cops, and the cops were like, "I don't see a snake. There is no snake here. We're like the animal control guys literally told us we're not coming, so uh, yeah. we're gonna leave now." And then this giant, like a fifteen foot snake, starts like slithering down, <laughs> and this lady's like screaming bloody murder. So the cops are like. Like what do we do? So they took out pepper spray and they pepper sprayed the snake. Oh Jesus! Oh, yeah. And then like it's uh, definitely in Florida, right? Absolutely. Oh, it's yeah. Almost, yeah. Yep, there it is. Ninety percent of the time, cops is in Florida. If you <laughs> you put on a random episode of Cops, chances are they're in Florida. Yeah. Oklahoma too. There's a lot of there's a lot of cop activity in Oklahoma. Yeah. Um, and surprisingly as well, Hawaii. That's where actually Dog the Bounty Hunter took place. Was Hawaii. Yeah. There's actually some rough parts of like the city of yeah. the cities in Hawaii. You would never like, think the that tropical beach parts. They must have the best marketing in the world because if you look at if you think of no Hawaii, pictures of the shitty parts. You think it's like oh, it's all beautiful, paradise, and, like yeah. really nice paradise and stuff like that. You look at Doggy the Bounty Hunter, like you think you're in like Compton. You think you're in like a really bad neighborhood in Queens or something. Uh-huh. All right, boys. Anything else you want to cover today? When do you think catapults were invented? Hmm. Hmm, probably like Joe well, Mark, like the first catapults. Like, oh, very early. way before then. Wasn't Joan of Arc like... I don't know. That was like 1300s or something. Yeah, I believe that. Okay, so we've got to be talking at least like Crusades? No, way before that. Romans had them. Well, I'm saying... Okay, so the Romans had them. Oh, yeah, you're right. Greeks had them. Shit. Greeks had them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if Egyptians had them. But I feel like they could have used them. Mm-hmm. 
wouldn't be a surprise, but I don't know who would be like battling the Egyptians really. The Greeks had a Greeks had a catapults. I'm pretty sure they catapults. They might have had ballistas too. Let's give it. They a called break. the uh, the the ballista in Game of Thrones that they that Bron shot. Oh, spoiler! Um, I won't say what he shot. Well, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> it was made for that shooting the dragon. Uh, they called it a scorpion. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you picked that up. Scorpions are much smaller than ballistas. Hmm. Um, they're still too big for one person to carry, but they are. Yes. That was the bullet stuff I've ever seen. One of the things. All right, so you guys want the you, answer? Do you, do you look up the? Yeah. Do you look up the answer? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Price is right rules. You know what that means? Uh, it's yeah, closest to the date uh-huh. without going over. So in this case, it's closest to the date without going further back in time. Okay. Okay. I'll say. Um, uh, so you said the Greeks have them, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go 2000 BC. I'm going way back. I also may have looked at this Wikipedia article already and forgotten about it, like a couple days ago, but I don't know. If this helps, it was derived from the Greek word katapultos. Wow. Hmm. I'm going to go uh, Greek, so that's before... Oh, that, shit, that's going to be way, way, way earlier than zero. Um, has to be like way earlier yeah, Because the zero. Romans were well established uh, by zero. 1,000. 400 BC. We both went over here. Uh, 400? First catapult, however, was invented around 400 BC in Greek town Syracuse. Syracuse. Does it have a description of it? Um, large machine on wheels, the basket attached to a long wooden arm, and a power source for hurling projectiles on the other. Hmm. I'm surprised that's actually later than I would have thought. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, what did they do when they, like, attacked cities? I guess maybe they had battering rams and stuff. I guess, yeah. Really I was trying to think of this stuff, because I'm, um... You know how, like... Ladders and... Climbers. Yeah, ladders yeah. and stuff. Man. You know how, like, J.R.R. R. R. Tolkien, you know, uh, how he has, like, a, a ton of lore for, like, his worlds? Oh, yeah. Like, for his world. Um, just, like, history that just goes back, like, super mm-hmm. far. I was actually, like, oh, it might be fun to write something like that. So I started just, like, writing, and I, something like, four hours later, I, was, I had written, like, a whole, like, history of, like, some made up world I had cool and I was trying to think like well wait a minute if I'm going to have some wars way back this far what are they going to use do they have catapults yeah mm-hmm. so I think I may have put catapults invention too early you know what's crazy um, sure. if you look at you know, you ever one of those like wiki websites wikia or whatever yeah. it is okay so the top right corner of those pages it'll always show you um, it'll always show you like how many pages there are on this pertaining to this topic uh-huh. so I can't remember if it's Lord of the Rings, or if it's Star Trek, or like Star Wars, mm. but one of them, like Star Trek and Star Wars are big, like they yeah. have really, really big ones compared to other stuff, because they have ones like for video games, and there's like 800 pages on it, like 8,000 pages. Yeah. The one for Lord of the Rings is like triple, I'm pretty sure. I actually went on there kind of recently, I was looking around, like, you know how you go through Wikipedia, you like open up like a new tab oh, yeah. as you see a highlighted word? Yep. Like by the end, at, my, at like my peak, I had like maybe like 30 tabs open mm-hmm. and I just keep going like, oh great, now I got 10 more, I gotta open those oh, up yeah, too. I, I go down Wikipedia rabbit holes all the time. I don't know why I'm reading about, you know, like the War of the Jewels and like First Stage <laughs> yeah. 480, but here I am. I went down to <laughs> Gothmong and all. Oh. The sun is coming up and it's 430. <laughs> I went down a Wikipedia rabbit hole recently of uh, 90s skateboarders for, like, from like Tony oh, Hawk's yeah, Pro Skater 3. Again, yeah. and I want to see like, what they were all up to now. Because I was like, what? remember that guy Chad Muska just skated around with a giant boombox boom box yeah. on his shoulder? Is Chad he, Muska is deaf in his left ear. <laughs> 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 that would be great. A lot of the guys are actually like successful businessmen that run like clothing companies and like yeah. skateboard like companies. Skate clothing. Yeah, those, and, those guys. Are, those guys all got sponsored at a really young age, made a lot of money, and the ones of them that were smart enough to invest it or like use a sponsorship yeah. to keep going have a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Um, we should that actually be a really interesting topic to do. Like you get you try to like think of two really very very different things and see who can get from or we all do the same challenge. We say, My like, Wikipedia to your Wikipedia. You're gonna yeah you're gonna say like. We both start on like I don't know like Jesus or something like that. You have to get from Jesus to like Chuck E. Cheese. Nice. And we got to see who clip. who can get there in the fewest clicks. But you have uh, yeah. to but you have to document it and say like okay this is I how got, your path was. This is how my path was. You guys can verify this is my path. Actually, why don't you pull up Wikipedia right now? See if we can get from G- how many clicks it takes the three of us as a team to get from Jesus to Chuck E. Cheese. We can do that. Okay. Right. Ignore the weak the weak clicks. I have all my BattleBots tabs open. I need reference for All this. right, okay. let's see what we got here. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus Christ. I typed in chist. Yeah, there we go. We'll get there. Jesus. Oh, Hillary Clinton. Well, she, yeah, she's not Jesus. 
Very fun. Okay, right, so, so we're, looking, we're looking here at oh, Old Jesus. Anyone, we're trying any, to get the Chuck E. Cheese. Anything okay. for pizza? So we just click like these highlighted links things. That's how we do it? Yeah. Rabbi might be okay, good. So, rabbi? Ra- rabbi? Orally, that you might can be get good. To bagel. <laughs> that might get us to food. Galilean Jew could probably get <laughs> us over there real fast. Well, people don't know. Chuck E. Cheese's name is Let's Charles Cheese. If I'm being real, I think orally I can do it that way. Let's see what we got here. Uh... Anything down? I mean, we can either go like a super broad topic. We got God's kingdom. Uh, Divin- wait. Ooh, raising of Jairus. Just the name is the uh, Loony solar Hebrew calendar. Herod Antipias of Herodias. Um, uh, baptism. Ba- 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 Judea. Sabbath. How about Sabbath? We get meal, like a meal from there. Somehow flip that on a pizza. I'm saying Sabbath. Okay, Sabbath. Like you guys can click the next one. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we started with Sabbath. This is a terrible story. I don't know about this start, Mike. This is questionable. I'm telling you, because then we'll get to someone that says, like, oh, on the Sabbath, they enjoy a meal together, like a family. And then you click meal, find pizza, find okay. chicken cheese. Okay, so exists. No Yom Kippur. Actually, like, we're still get, in religious stuff. If you get, if you get well, into... Well, we're, we're in Jesus. Right, yeah. you know, I think we could have gotten clicks. broader than Sabbath, man. Saturday? Yeah. Okay, click Saturday. Okay, try Saturday. I, d- I do not see us getting the Chuck E. Cheese. Okay. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Many families have TGI pizza on Friday. Friday. <laughs> TGI Friday. Oh my god. Yeah, well, go, click on Friday, and maybe it'll bring us to TGI Friday. So uh, like, in popular culture. Ooh, something probably. that's a really good idea. Name right, so we just went from Sabbath to Saturday to Friday. You can do, like, a control F and look for it. What were you looking for? We are uh, looking TGI for... TGI Friday, the restaurant. TGI. Oh, damn Son it. of a bitch. Um, the drink... Thanksgiving, no. Ooh, Thanksgiving might work. Black, Black Friday. Friday. Thailand. I feel like Thanksgiving or Black Friday might work because those take us to... Like, Thanksgiving takes us to like meal-ish area, I guess. Yeah, okay. And we can, use, we can use meal to get to pizza. Or if we do Black Friday, that gets Wait, us to like, consumerism. We can use that to get to stores. How come for the Wikipedia for the word Friday there's a whole section for just Thailand? What do they got going on on Fridays? You're, you're not focused. We can look mm. at Thailand. Oh, it's Thailand. The color... Associated Friday is blue. That's important. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we know that. Anyway, what would you guys want to? Include? I want to either do Thanksgiving or um, Black Friday. Yeah, so Thanksgiving, we go to we can get closer to pizza, and Black Friday, we're closer to stores. All right. Okay. All right. Thanksgiving. Okay. What do we? How do we get from Thanksgiving Jesus. to pizza? Christmas. Can we go like cheese? Guns is it cheese? All right, I... Thanksgiving, United States. Oh wait, no. Let's see if we can skip something here. How many have we done right now? This is our uh, third. Oh, pie, pumpkin pie. Like, pumpkin pie? Wait, is Chucky... That might be too, that might be too small, man. Is, like, Chucky, or name, like, Chucky e. Cheese, is that, like, Charles? Charles Chuck- Cheese, yeah. Look who's somebody Charles associated with this. Charles? Oh, there we go. Charles, Charles City, City County. County. Well, that's not clickable one, though. Keep, um, keep pressing enter. New England? Is, like, Chucky e. Cheese, like, from New England? Damn. Damn. Charles Cheese. I don't know where Chucky e. Cheese originated. FDR, is he a fan? FDR, yeah. <laughs> the original pumpkin pie. Uh, Liberia, that's not going to do it. Let's go pumpkin pie. Why is pumpkin pie getting us anywhere closer? I mean, I guess it's actual how food. We, what is our goal here? We got to get the pizza, I think. We got to get no, the pizza. Or Chuck E. Cheese. Well, I know, but how are we going to get the Chuck E. Cheese? You have to back up from Chuck E. Cheese. Right, we need a pumpkin dessert? pie. Yep. Uh, Desserts at Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know about this, man. I think this is, I think this is going the wrong way. I thought that was a good click, actually. Sweet eggs, nut messy. He's bringing us. We just bu- opened up a bunch of specific foods here. Yeah, but you got to look for you're not gonna pancakes, get waffles, cheesecake, candy, ice cream. In popular culture, Chucky e. Cheese is well known for the best pumpkin pie. Evaporated milk, cinnamon, sugar. List of, list of pies. pies. Maybe sugar will lead us to like bad health things, and then that'll lead <laughs> us to salt. Chuck e. Would salt be better? Salt. Or oh, how about just pie? Pizza pie. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Okay, now you're thinking. That's, that's okay, that's just smart. That was uh, a good click. Okay. Savory pies? I think Sweet savory pies. Pie, don't get right? those mixed up. Wait, don't they only call pizza pie a pizza pie in, like, New York? I could be in Wikipedia. I, I could make, 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 make mention of that. The Romans had pie. Let's just do a quick little pizza. Oh, oh there's yeah. pizza. Types okay. of savory right. pies. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> All right, we're, we're at pizza. Okay, we're at pizza. Okay, let's see if Chuck E. Cheese is on this page. Yeah, first just search Chuck. Chucky. Okay, okay, that would have okay, been incredible. Right, okay, pizza in the United States. Maybe a restaurant. If we pizza find in the United States. Would that work? Where did you see that? That uh, main article there. Yeah, I hit that. Pizza in the United States. Okay. Okay, now we get rid of all that like fancy frou frou pizza. 
Uh, is this going to be too small here? If you look on this right side... Oh, sorry. I felt like Restaurant yeah, actually would be closer. Sorry. Or don't they have them specifically for Oh, yeah, sorry. No, you're good. Pizza in the United States. Um... I'm out of bed just into a corner here. Pepperoni, different because cheese, I bar guess, pizza, Detroit pizza, no. New York, New York style pizza. Is he New York style pizza though? I feel like no. They're known for pizza, right? Yeah, they're known for horrible pizza. Yeah, bad pizza. Come on, man. I don't know if I asked you guys. Uh, if you know Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, yeah, like Five Nights at Freddy's. Sure. Do you know it, Mike? From mm-hmm. the game Five Nights at Freddy's. Do you know? Decade. No. It's like it jump scares the game. It takes place in like a haunted type like pizzeria, like Chuck E. Cheese, basically, where there are animatronics that like kill you. Like they, you know, mm. like from the stage, like play instruments. You know? Are you following? Yes. Wait, start over. Sorry, I'm really focused on getting the yeah. Chuck E. Cheese. Right, so we're on New York pizza. Animatronics, right they kill you. From this place, Verity Fazbear's Pizza. Oh. That's what the game oh. jump scare you. Oh, God. oh, Pizza Hut! Pizza Hut, oh. okay. Do you okay. think pizza that could get us yeah, Chuck E. Cheese? I think so. Yeah. I think we're getting closer. Yeah. Okay, is there, is there, is there yeah, competition or Maybe like crit, criticism? Yeah. Uh, oh, wait a minute, hang on. Scroll up a little bit. So Yum Brands. Is Chuck E. Cheese a Yum Brands no, company? No, definitely oh, not. Damn it. Too small. So, anyway. Too small. KFC. Would you go, if there was a real Freddy Fazbear's pizza, minus the deadly part of the animatronics, would you go there? Yeah. And at night, it could be a horror attraction, too. Would you go to that? That would be cool. Yeah, you I could, know. like, sit in the chair and, and like, play the game. Except real animatronics come at you. Oh, list of pizza chains in the United States. Where, where, where? See oh, also. I would go to that. Okay, oh, we're yeah. close. This has got to be it. If this isn't it. Chucky Cheese. Yes, we got there. Woo. We got that there. Was under twenty. All right. That was not bad. Okay, so I think. Let's go back to Jesus. That was I'm gonna go what my idea was. I think the thing to beat is twelve, right? I think. What um? What was I gonna do? Orally. Crucif- yeah, that was it. Where to go? You made it. Made also, doesn't help that my delete key is missing. It's an computer. <laughs> okay. World so you're keeping it broad. I like that. Um, I don't know, no mention of what I thought it might be. Um, so he hit back and it shows a list. Oh, this is like this is like, gonna count this is like oral gospel traditions. Oh, this isn't literally that oral. Kind of a that le- was a misleading. That was kind of a misleading. Oral there. tradition. Oral traditions. Um. Oral history. You're done. Game over. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. so we burned a lot of clicks on that. So did we go Thanksgiving? Nah, I'm, I'm putting we Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Click, uh, wait, click history. So let's see how we got there. What? Thanksgiving. Click pie. Uh, pizza pie. Uh, pizza. Pie, uh, pizza uh, New York, lost that. New York wait, I can't pizza. Pizza so we went from, we went from uh, gospel to Saturday. I think we went to Sabbath then. Sabbath, Sabbath Saturday, Saturday, Friday, Friday Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, pumpkin pie, pie, nine. pizza pie. Pizza in the United States, New York style pizza, Pizza Hut, list of pizza chains in the United States, Chuck E. Cheese. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you include the uh, Sabbath that's not listed there? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Pretty 12 cool. is the thing to beat. Nice. Cool. Look at all, all the right. stuff I can buy from my robot. Huh. Anyway. Right. Well, thank you oh, for joining us on this episode of Bagel Cast. It is August 13th, 2017. Yeah, it's good you remember the date because, like, people in the future are going to be like, when was this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's going on? Who are these guys? Yeah. We're about an hour on the dot, so. Not bad. Well done, man. Sure. All right, signing off. See you next time. Good boy. I don't want to say the weird thing again. You guys have to say it. <laughs> Bye. There, there it is. <laughs>